the time I was lost in the Congo and became a evening, Mr. Morgan. A living God for a few days? Seriously. It's a good one. And it's true. Entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> uh, my lord, it was wild. The massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall, some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and uh, rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they they had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. <sighs> Uh, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or... Huh, sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> when I said I'm not the marrying kind, huh, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle. <laughs> Gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. <sighs> you was in Africa? I've lived many a life, young Morgan. Well, in your mind, maybe. 